Bobby, and today I'm going to show you how to build the oaken sand lamp from Ikea. So let's open it up and see what we got. Alright, so next, for the next couple steps, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. That's the one with the X, if you didn't know. And you're going to need the three legs here, and there's a little screw in the top here, as you can see. And with the screwdriver, you're just going to unscrew that for all three legs and uh, see you when it's done. Alright, so next we want to grab this uh, big white disc here, and then you want to find the side here that has like the little divot, it bumps in a little bit. And you're going to want to grab um, one of the three uh, legs here that we just unscrewed, and as you can see there's two holes here, um, and there's a little dowel in this one. So the dowel is going to want to go inside the one that's closer to the center here. Then you're going to want to grab um, one of the screws that you just took out. And you're gonna to wanna to screw it in lightly with your hand right there into the second hole. And then do it with the screwdriver. Do it for all three. See you when it's done. All right, so before you start the next step, you're gonna need um, an adjustable wrench just like this one here. Um, you're gonna need the, the uh, bolt with the washer on it and the pole with the nut inside it. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to grab the nut and you're just going to put the washer right over top of it. And there's this hole right in the middle of this part we just finished building here. You're going to put that right up there. And you're just going to lightly tighten this hole right above it. Should tighten just like that. Um, and once you get a little bit further into tightening, it's going to be a bit trickier. So you're going to grab your wrench here and it will make it easier. So then. You don't even have to move the wrench, you just have to hold it, and then it'll be nice and tight just like that. Alright, so next you want to grab the other pole here, and you can see there's two holes here. They line perfectly up. Um, it doesn't even clip together, you just gotta lightly wiggle it a little bit, then push it right down to place, and guess what? We're halfway done. Alright, so next you want to grab the wired part of the lights here, and then you're going to want to see all these little uh, holes here. Um, you're going to want to push the, start at the top, push the one light all the way through until you hear a little click at the end, just like that. And you're going to want to go opposite to each other. So this one would go on this side and that one would go on that side. And yeah, see you when it's done. All right, so next, um, huh, what you're supposed to do is that this cable here is supposed to tuck into this little, um, crack here but um mine is really tight so it actually it can't but if yours has a little bit more slack it um it should be able to fit in there and that'll just uh, keep the cable from um wiggling around and just bothering you and then so next um you're gonna want to grab the cable here at the bottom and there's this little like divot here you want to push that into there just like that all right so next you want to get you um I have Soleta LEDs uh, E1240 watts here, um, and you're going to want to, hopefully about three of them because they do not come with this, um, and you want to screw them in, uh, the top, the middle, and the bottom. Also you want to make sure that you don't screw them in too tight because if they are too tight they can break like that. So next you're going to want to find this little white piece at the top here. Oopsies. Um, and you're gonna unscrew that, and then you're gonna find this last little frame piece here, and then you're gonna see that the sides kind of curve up a little bit. That's the right way to do it. So then you're gonna put this that screw that you literally just took out, screw that in a little bit. There, there we go. That fits perfect. And then screw it right back into where you got it from. Right, so next, you're gonna want to take this last little lampshade part here. And you're going to see the side, it kind of has like a little bit of a ring here. That's going to go at the top. And then you're going to carefully and slowly put your lampshade right over. Try not to hit any of the lights really. Right over there, just like that. Then you're going to want to make sure this top part here is centered right over that thing that we just screwed in. And you're going to want to grab it. It's kind of like a little elastic band here. You're going to want to stretch that and put it right around the sides of that plate that we screwed in earlier. Here, just like this. And yeah, I hope you know where um, you're gonna put this lamp because this is our final step here. And the only thing left to do is turn it on, see how it works.
All right, three, two, one. Ta-da! And this is our lamp. Like if you found this video useful. And if you want, consider subscribing. A big thank you to Patty Spado 4 for creating our brand new building with Bobby sweaters.